Hello, everybody. Uh, terribly sorry I'm late. I I got tangled up in some stuff, so uh, forgive me. Uh, so how's everybody doing this morning? Let's see who we got here today. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Giza. R Rivoli Watches, how are you? Mr. Gumby, Tom, Bruce, Glenn. <laughs> Oh, it's good to see everybody. Uh, like I say, I apologize again for being late. Hey, GMT Master. Ian, how are you? Oh, let's see. What's everybody up to? Uh, hey, James Kahn. Geezer. I think Glenn did a poor job. <laughs> evening here. Every, everyone very relaxed. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's evening in other places. Hi, Dr. A and B. Hope all is safe uh, for this. Okay. Hey, Dominic. Hey, Clyde. How you doing, Carl? Okay, good. Hey, Tim. Um, just went to the grocery store. Brave man. <laughs> hey, Lee. Oh, boy. Well, hi, Mr. Gumby. Uh, well, uh, I got up early. It was at 6 a.m. and went to, um, see, what is it? Uh, went to the, hey, James and Sean. Um, I went to the Watches and Wonders. I had on my uh, hemisphere, so I, I had one on European Central Time and then one on uh, what I call New York Time. It's just easier. So, anyway... I don't know. I uh, they got a lot of way to go. Hey, Joas, how you doing? Is uh, did, did anybody else? I mean, hey, James Con, did did anybody else go take a look at the uh, watches and wonders uh, this morning? <clears throat> anybody? Nobody. Uh, the Mont Blanc with one hand is quite interesting. Um, hey, Stefan, JLC looks nice. Okay, so you guys went. I uh, all I got out of it there was a a Facebook page and it had some videos on it. But was there? Did anybody else? Did, am am I not seeing the right thing? Or it was, to me, it was terribly, you know, they had all of this dancing baloney going on with, yay, and how thrilled they were to have it. But I, you know, like, I want to see some watches and stuff, and I didn't get to. Hey, Jeffrey. Um, no idea what was happening. Yeah, they had a, they sent a, some emails out and told, and I, I've uh, had it here for all. Hey, Bill, how you doing? You're 27, huh, Bill? <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Uh, yes, I did. Watches and Wonders, a bit disappointed. Yeah, me too. I, I was, um, I'm on King of Game. I, hello, how are you? Always good to meet a, a, a Game King. Uh, go to Watches and Wonders website. Well, that's what I did, and it, there was just like, mm, all this stuff, but... I, I didn't see anything, and then it blew up on me, which probably what it was. A lot of people did go. I don't like the presentation. Way too glitzy. More brands is where I found other stuff. Yeah, uh, Stefan, that was that was my thing. Is that I I don't know what they're thinking. You know, I I just I have like. I think they have people, well, let's just take what we've always been doing and we'll do it the same way, except we'll do it online somehow. And they didn't do a very good job of it, I don't think. They had the, like I said, they got the dancing baloney and everything. I got, you know, at the beginning of my videos, I got the same thing. That guy, uh, guy made me the video with the watch parts and everything, but it's short, very short. You know, once you've seen it, you just want to get on and see what's what's next. But this, these guys, oh, you know, there there are two things I think are gonna they when I see this, 
were passionate about making watches. You want to slap them, you know, it, that, you know, like snap out of it. This is you're in this to make money and make watches we like that we can afford. They're, you know, I mean, yeah, okay, fine. You're passionate about doing it right. <laughs> But you know, when you're making fifty thousand watches a week, where's the passion? Ah, I, I get. It. I didn't mean to sound ranting like that, but uh, there it is. Hey, ZL. Uh, yeah, ZL. That's a good way to put it. Feels like a massive collection of brand ads, brand ads, and not very good brand ads. And and they have. Um, the one I saw it was a brand and a model I really like. This was this is that it wasn't it was at the, the uh, their Facebook page, <coughs> and it was on the H Moser um, perpetual uh, calendar. And what they did, they spent the whole first half on the old stuff. They had that guy in a stupid red hat, and then they had the cheese thing. But they did leave out my favorite, which was the the icon watch. You know, I thought, hey, you guys, you know, um, you don't need that. Just you know, tell us something new about the watch. And then they did, and it was fantastic. But who wants to wade through all of this corn stuff with someone there? Why don't they put a signer on his next thing? I'm really cool. And then that because. Uh, I don't know. God, I sound like an old lady. <laughs> okay. The Watch Advisor site does a decent job on some of the announcements. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Nook, nook, nook. <laughs> Bill Howard. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Bruce, how you doing, man? All right, so let's... Uh, any anything? Um, see, lots of new watches unveiled on the Revolution Watch uh, YouTube site. You know, Revolution. Th thanks, James. Revolution site. I isn't the one. Isn't that out of uh, Singapore? Their stuff is very good. I like uh, the Revolution site. There's nothing revolutionary about it, but it's but it's a good it's a good site. That in the uh, pro site, they they usually have pretty good stuff too. Uh, do you like the new VC overseas PPC? See, I, I didn't see. It. I didn't get a chance to see it. I could, you know, trying to go through all of that junk. Um, is, is that the one with the bird on it, uh, Geezer? If that's the one with the the oh a Wyco, a Wyco. Hmm. Anyway, I saw the one with the bird. It's really cool. That I like. Coming soon, the Twa. <laughs> Twa students. Well, we got. Clyde, with you and me, we got two of the, we have do, Dewey of the trio. Hey, Burnt Mount, how you doing, man? Uh, no skeleton eye, PPC. Um, oh, perpetual calendar. Uh, okay, gotcha. Huh, well, let me tell you something that happened. I, uh, I don't know if uh, he's here in the morning or not, but... Um, Corbin uh, Forbin Colossus. This is this, this name from an old movie. Uh, but he sent me 38 pages on a on a PDF file of uh, watch uh, faces with a lot of Art Deco fonts. And I found one I really liked that I thought was really cool. Ah, okay, GMT. Thanks, man. All right, look at this. What do you think of this font? Uh, it reminds me of it's very, very Art Deco, and, and this is uh, the picture wasn't too good, and the watch was uh, pretty old. But I saw this and thought, man, now that is that is the coolest Art Deco. Um, there are a lot of uh, fonts sort of in this, and I think they're under things like Broadway font and so on and so forth. But boy, I saw this font, I thought. That is a cool font, it, and, and I think that that's that's always fun to do. Okay, uh, describe my uh, Parmigiani in one syllable. One syllable. Oh, one adjective. 
Okay. Uh, one syllable would be hard, uh, harder. Uh, I would say sort of um, reliable dual time. How's that? In a useful dual time. I really like this watch. This watch is just, it's just been a great one, a great big old uh, horn lugs on it. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it's something about this watch that every time I wear it, it's uh, it's more fun. You know, it is now. Okay, there's my there's my description of it. Hokey doke. Uh, yeah, I I like that font too. It reminds me of uh, you know if you ever watch. Oh, I don't know where they came up. When I was a kid growing up, they had all these cartoons from the 1930s. I'm not from the 1930s, but the cartoons were. And they had that font uh, where you still see them today. Sometimes they'll have these old cartoons from um, uh, not only Disney, but a lot of the other ones. Uh, and th that font reminds me of that. It also reminds me of, um, well, the 20s, really. It's a very 20s type of art deco. Okay. All right, Jeffrey Blue, what's up? Um, Hey, KK Chrome, horned lugs would be perfect uh, for a certain Australian watch. <laughs> Bruce, come on now, let's 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 be friendly. Oh boy, um, that font uh, would match a Harry Winston case. Yeah, Jeffrey. Very well put. That's exactly right. You know, there's a there's a certain type of New York City urban um, art deco that I really like. Very uh, like the Chrysler Building and, and some places like that. Uh, the other's art deco is the poster art, the German poster art from the 1920s. They've got some of the coolest art. Uh, also in uh, French art from the same period. Uh, it's sort of like the streamlined uh, sort of whole series of arts. Maybe that's why I like the uh, streamliner, too. Okay. Uh, I can't remember those cartoons, unfortunately. <laughs> well, you can still find them today. You have to watch the um, cartoon channel for 30 hours. And for this group, that's not a, that's not a stretch at all. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're all healthy and well. You know, I tell you, when somebody doesn't come for a long time, I wonder, I wonder if they got it. Yeah, they have, um, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. Um, you know, I I, I don't even want to talk about the politics of it. It's getting, it's gotten so strange now that it's like I'm living on another planet in a, cartoon world or something all right so let's talk about watches um i still have not heard back from rolf uh from rolf lang i wrote him about it and let me just i'm double checking right now no nope. um still haven't heard back from him i'm not sure what he wants to do now uh because i i basically said you know that you know for that for that amount, what do we get? And I, it would be cool if we got the watch and a case. That would be very cool, and we could do the rest ourselves. Uh, and you know, for five thousand bucks, you get a lot. Uh, the other day, um, uh, Mark, uh, who has the uh, who has a watch now, did this really cool video. I put it up on. Um, on uh, High Horology Lounge, and and what it was, he he simply had the watch and he turned it around, and this thing has been through eleven different people all over the country, all over the U.S., from California to Washington State to Louisiana to you name it. It's been all over the place, and when I started it, it was brand new. It still looks brand new. This is a this is a, a, a metal watch, so I think that's sort of a something I think that is a great thing for us because we get to experience a pretty unique watch and we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> That's the good part for us. 
for for the watchmaker, they get they get all of this uh, sort of you know basically free you know publicity, I guess, and uh, that's a good thing too. I mean, I've got nothing nothing bad about that. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, no one's having Lysol martini shaken that stirred. Oh God, I it's almost an embarrassment. I mean, just an embarrassment even to hear that. How could anybody be so? I don't know. It's just like not paying attention, not paying attention. I, I don't want to get into that. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, Fahrenheit, maybe those Art Deco fonts uh, won't be best best matched with a boot uh, boot and lawn in case. Yeah, th this is one of the other things that we've got to figure out. Now, remember, we're not getting if we go with uh, Voot and Lonin and Kalen, we're not going with a Voot and Lonin uh, case. We're going with a, the, the one that we liked was a case that Ophian had Caton and Voot and Lonin designed for him. And so, you know, we don't have to go with that at all. We can come up with any case we want. Uh, I happen to like the one that uh, Ophian did, and that's how come I, uh, I used it. This one right here is the one I'm talking about. I still got to get to work on this. I've been so busy lately with just everything that, um, yeah, I still, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a watch, anything like that, I don't think, with that kind of case. All right, uh, let's see. Fair and I think numerals like the Hermes watch would be look nice. Uh, yeah, I agree. I like, there's, the uh, Hermes has two very different kinds of fonts. Uh, one is their font that they had designed especially for them was sort of like they have spaces in them. They're really cool looking ones. And I would call them, they're sort of, they have an art deco uh, kind of look to them too, but a, sort of like a modern deco. And then the other ones are the highly italicized ones. I, I don't know which one you're talking about, um, uh, Abdul, but uh, I like them both. Which one were you talking about? Oh, Geezer, any updates on the Jade Dial? Yes, there is. I went to Jade Dial Land, and here's why I don't think it, it'll work. They look, they're thick as hamburgers, first of all. You have these, they're, I mean, they're, they're beautiful, but it looks like somebody took like a, a brooch, something about the size of a brooch, a big round one, and uh somehow they must have drilled out enough space to stick a, a movement in there but those things i as much as i like them uh i think they're probably not very practical okay so you guys can take a look maybe you can find some but i looked all over the place and um the that was pretty much it on the on the jade. But you know, what we could have we could have a jade uh, colored enamel if we wanted. That might be very cool. You know, we can do it this. So this is this the one thing about putting together our own watch. We can do it in a way that that we really like. You know, ninety nine percent of the time when somebody doesn't like a watch, it's the way it looks. Uh, right away, you'll have people could see uh, Roger Smith. No, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, they don't know anything about it. They don't like the look. They don't like the looks. You know, maybe they're not comfortable with it. Okay, maybe uh, ask FP's yarn for a jade dial. Well, you know, these are all all his dials are. They're simply, I think they're just painted green or lacquered green or however whatever they do with it. Um, so you know, it wouldn't be too hard. I, you know, I, I could ask this guy, you know, one of the things, once I get together with this guy, um, is to, you know, just say, you know, what are some options we have? Not, um, what's it called? AD dial or something like that. Um, they, if you've been to their website and taken a look on what they've done, they really got some really very, very cool stuff. So anyway, there are a lot of options. Okay, Oak, uh, high NS something. Uh, 
Okie doke. Uh, so anyway, any anything else that you've seen at that uh, the Watches and Wonders uh, show? Something? So whatever it is that they have, uh, they had the the welcoming video. They had this gal up there. She had her Chanel outfit on, looking like you know, rich on a stick. And um, she had, she was going on about this and how thrilled she was. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. Man, you want to, you can borrow my massage wand and throw yourself all you want. It, there's a, you know, it, it's really, I don't know. I, I just have, uh, so just was like tons of tons of dancing baloney and no information design at all. So did you see the Panerai watches? Lang and Son also released a new uh, Odysseus and a new Zywerk. No, I didn't see those. JLC Master Control. That one. What are our thoughts on the new releases? This is what we were talking about, Tom. Most of them I haven't seen. There was one that somebody put up on the uh, High Horology site. Um, and... The I'm trying to think it was a Vestron Constant 10 and it had a hummingbird on it with a, a, a retrograde something or other. Gorgeous looking watch, but they you know they're charging hundred thousand dollars for those kind of watches, and so I don't pay that much uh, attention to them. So anyway, an interesting travel themed watch uh, this morning. Travel themed watch is some of here's my hemispheres. <laughs> That's all travel themed. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I still um, sort of have one eye out for a world timer. I just think it'd be cool to have a world timer. One of the ones that I think is a really good one uh, is an older one. I think it's from like 2012 or sometime, something like that. And it won the uh, sports watch contest. And it was a Mont Blanc star. Now, the Mont Blanc star has at that time had an ETA in it. Um so anyway, that was that was sort of interesting. By the way, too, um, here is why it pays to know as much as you can about watches before getting one. Uh, I I got a a mail uh, from a guy, and he said he he bought this Mont Blanc with a Minerva movement in it from the 1950s. And here's the thing: a Mont Blanc really didn't start making watches until 19, until, when was it? Uh, 1997, I think. Richemont bought uh, Minerva in 20, when was it? 2007, I think. And then Mont Blanc didn't have a Minerva movement until 2015. And so... There was no way that could have been, didn't that? And I think what happened, the guy uh, looked up all that information after he bought it. And it's sort of like, well, <laughs> maybe next time you want to look ahead and see what's, what's going on before you buy it. But it was an interesting kind of thing. A guy wrote me and, you know, I said, oh, I'm a little worried. I think I got, I got taken by this guy. And it sounds like he did. I think the kindest way to describe uh, watching wonders would be a work in progress. Bruce, I agree. Yeah, that's a good way. It's it's a work in progress. It's sort of like sort of like a <laughs> sort of like a fifty car pile up that they're trying to undo. So we'll call that a work in progress. Uh, waiting to see the, uh, what Gerard Perigo has. Me too. I like Gerard Perigo. That's one of those. Um, I've had watches with Gerard Perigo movements, but I, I haven't had a, a, a Gerard Perigo watch yet. Uh, I put one. I put one up on um, uh, High Horology Lounge. I found years ago. I found this one called Richville, Richville, something like that, uh, and it was a chronograph, but it was um, a tonneau shape. And so here you have this tonneau shape chronograph, and I found one for was about 4,500 or something like that. Really good price in solid 18 karat gold. I have, hmm, you know, that, I mean, you see these things all the time. 
that there's so many temptations. <laughs> yes, they, they just have to hit you in the right mood and bam, you know, you, you want to watch. Um, uh, KK Chrome, okay, what are you saying? Uh, that is not actually accurate. Those were old warehouse Minerva movements. What's inaccurate about that? Uh, I, they don't have to be new ones, but they were owned, they came to be purchased by um, Richemont, and Richemont owns Mont Blanc. So I don't know what your point is, KK Chrome. Okay, uh, we'd also like to see a redesign of JLC Master Ultra Sin. Yeah, I like that one too. I like the one, and I, uh, they could use a redesign. Okay, the Master Control Complete Calendar was absolute favorite. What a beautiful watch. Uh, Bruce, were these at the Watches and Wonders or somewhere else? Master control complete calendar. Yeah. Okay, where are we going with all this? Yes, I watched this wonders. Wait, Bruce, was this on their Facebook page or did you get? Because uh, I went to their website and all I got was this dancing baloney. Yeah, yeah. Um, KK Chrome. The thing, the point was, was that this was sold as a, a Mont Blanc watch with a Minerva movement in it. Okay. Yeah, they had some older ones. In fact, I'd love to get one of the older Minervas. But the the guy was selling this thing as a, as a Mont Blanc from the fifties uh, with a Minerva movement. Now he may have stuck a Minerva movement in it and you know, call it a day. You have a confession. That sounds like a confession. Okay, you have to say 5,000, <laughs> whatever they make you say. They are on the JLC website too. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go back and take a look at it. Very reasonably priced. They, they generally are. Watches by Six has all the releases. Yeah, they're good about that. Don't worry about KK Chrome. Uh, any information is good information. That's how come we have conversations. Okay. Um, uh oh, what's happened to Joa? Something. I have a confession. I oh. <laughs> GMT master. That's yeah. You know, I tell you, they'll they'll put you on a couple of ventilators, Joas, and you'll be fine when you come out of it. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to hit on secondary market. Now, I think they they're probably <laughs> they're probably got one foot in it already. Check your mail email. Let's see what uh, Clyde sent. Oh wow! Oh, a Minerva is that a Minerva watch? Uh, Clyde, let me see. Let me get it over here and open it up. I think that I think it might be a. Um, that's a beautiful watch, even though it, it's somewhat out of focus. Uh, Clyde, is that a Minerva watch? In gold, yeah. Okay. This, this is what the guy told me, all right? He said, it's a Mont Blanc watch from the 50s with a Minerva movement. That didn't exist. What did exist is some really cool Minerva watches like the one you sent. Now, that's a different story. Either that or the guy who sent me the email has was all mixed up. I don't know which is which. Uh, but it's, you know, what the point is, it's, you know, the more you know about this kind of stuff, the better off you're going to be. And uh, is that one of your watches, Clyde? 
new 40 millimeter Portuguese is quite nice. Yes. Do they tell you what, what kind of, what's a mystery meat movement they have in that? Okay, that's what's cool about JLC. They take minor things from their ultra high end and put it in their cheaper watches. Hmm. Clive is Bill Zednick, man. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I sometimes think the opposite, James. Yes, I don't take out of focus pics of other people's watches. <laughs> That's a cool watch to have, though. It really is. I like that a lot. Uh, oh. Okay. It has a new in-house movement. Okay. That's, I, you know, I, I've got no reason to trust them. And so I won't go off on a rant. Uh, I'll let them stew in their own juices. How about an 1858 Chrono? Who makes it? Uh, who makes the 1858 Chrono, Joe asks? There's one, yeah, the Mont Blanc have one uh, that's called the 18-something or other. Those are the Mont Blanc with the Minerva movements. Those are very nice. Okay, um, well, look, guys, uh, I went over five minutes because I was two minutes late, so anyway. I got to run. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can see anything more interesting other than, you know, a bunch of videos of it is doing a great job. I, I think so, too. I, I like their uh, watches. By the way, that what I started to say, the Mont Blanc from 2012 that won the uh, Travel Watch Award was the star something or other. And those things are down to around about 2000 or something. They're a really good buy. And you have a, um, uh, you get a world timer, plus you get a Grand Prix winner. Watches and Wonders has uploaded all the videos on their YouTube channels, including, oh, okay. I was four minutes late. Okay, geezer, sorry. I, I, I don't like being late. This is, um, Man, I tell you, I, I, it's, it's that Swedish DNA. Those guys are never late for anything. Now they are above Bon at Mercier. I think uh, Long Jeans is doing a lot of good work. Yeah, they're a big guy. I like that one a lot. All right, guys, uh, take care. Uh, I'll be back this afternoon at uh, 4 o'clock. Maybe I'll have figured something out uh, in the meantime.